What the Liverpool kids did to Chelsea at Wembley is haunting me and I'm sure it will still continue to haunt me until my dying day. But what I thought we could do is use the brilliance of Jurgen Klopp, the brilliance of Liverpool, as a genesis for a little bit more of a holistic conversation. Helping me go through this is the wonderful Adi Oladipo. Adi, I'm looking forward to this, man. Yeah, looking forward to it a lot. Uh, there's a lot of good youngsters in the Premier League. So um, when you said to me, we will do this, I was like, okay, one second. We've got to do it, though, 21 and under. Yeah, kids. No 22-year-olds, no 23-year-olds. I don't want any of that nonsense. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 absolutely. No, when, yeah, kids. Yeah, kids. Want, what we, what kids. we're going to do in this video, we're going to rank from 10 down to 1 the best 10 players under the age of 21. Yeah, so 21 and under. 21 and under yeah. in the Premier League. I've got my 10. Addy's got his 10. We're going to go through them. We're going to debate them. And hopefully there'll be a consensus, although I imagine that we could uh, disagree on a few. Have, I've, you, have you got any that you almost want to give a special mention to that are not in your 10? No, no, I haven't got that, but what I would do is, you know, there are some players that mm. are clearly kids that I haven't mentioned because they're just too too significant as being pros. Oh, that's in okay. Okay, that's so twenty one. I'll give you that twenty one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you whether he's in my list or not, but yeah. I'll give you a, the debate I was having. Go on. The debate I was having was over a player that I rate incredibly highly, Harvey Elliott, mm. who is effectively a kid. Twenty. He, he correct. Yeah. But he's also an incredibly experienced footballer. Yeah, I think this might be his fourth season. Yeah, he's an incredibly experienced yeah. footballer. You look at the you look at the game tally, you look at the amount of games that he's played. You look at what yeah. he's won. Yeah. Like he's won more than most players will ever win. No, no, you, you, you're. Do you know what I mean? Like, you are correct. I mean, this guy played for Fulham when he was fifteen, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so okay. Look, do you know but what? We were, but but that's a debate that I was having. I didn't yeah, yeah. know whether like it feels a bit unjust to compare a player like Harvey Elliott, who's got at least three full seasons of track record, mm. with say a player like another player that is on my list is Destiny Adogi. Yeah. But Destiny Adogi is a kid. Yeah, but didn't he play a lot in Italy? Yeah, but in terms of but like he's coming into a I don't Premier think he played four seasons of no. football but, but, like Harvey Elliott. But I found, but, it, I found but, but, it tricky. No, I think that, yeah, I, I know what you mean, but that's unfair on Harvey. Mm. Okay, no, yeah. I agree, because he is in my list. He's, he's, oh. um, <laughs> who, who, let's start at 10. We'll both, we'll both give our 10. Who, who have you got as the 10th best kid in the Premier League? See, this, see when you put it like that, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of stick for this kid because he's probably a top five. But I put him at 10 because, look, I'm going to say his name anyway, Rico Lewis. Rico Lewis is fantastic. Obviously, I think he broke into the England squad. I think he got man of the match for that England game that he broke into. But he hasn't really started that many games for Man City. He's coming off the bench. I think he's probably only started a handful of games. Mm. I think he's played like 10, but only started about four or five. He's not super important to City. If Rico Lewis gets injured, City and like, oh my God, no. we've lost Rico Lewis. With all due respect to Rico... He's a good player, and I think he'll go on to be a, a potentially a good, great player for City. But I've got him at 10 just because Rico Lewis doesn't need to have a 10 out of 10 game. There's a lot of players on this that have now become the main men for their clubs. Mm. Rico Lewis isn't one of them. That's why I've got him at 10th. Yeah, I've got Destiny Adogi. But I agree with you about... Ooh, what, I think 10? He's brilliant, mate. <laughs> I mean, we did a video recently, didn't we, where we, where we ranked yeah. the best five players so far this season. Yeah, you had a minute, didn't you? I had him one. Yeah, there you I think go. I did. I think you're Foden one. You're Foden one, uh, and Foden you're one Destiny, Destiny Dogi two. Yeah. Like, I, so you've got him at number ten. What's happening, everyone? Do not go anywhere. This is on a need to know basis, and trust me, you need to know. Everybody needs a bit of VPN action in their life. Trust me on this. I didn't even know what a VPN was that long ago. I got involved with it, and it changed everything. NordVPN provides a wonderful service. It's so affordable. It's comparable to the price of a cup of coffee. And guess what? One account allows you to link it to six different devices. So you could give it to your mum for access. You could give it to your girlfriend for access. You could give it to your wife for access. You could give it to your dad for access. And you could still have some spare all off the back of one single purchase. There is also absolutely no risk, absolutely no jeopardy, because for some reason you don't like it. For some reason it doesn't quite chime with you. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can really experiment, find out, does Nord work for you when you book your holidays? It stops websites tracking you so you do get the best price. Sometimes you might want to watch films that aren't necessarily available in your location. You may want to watch football matches. Not me, but you may want to watch football matches that aren't available in your location. It's not possible without a VPN. NordVPN allows you to do that. You will never see that annoying message on Twitter ever again. 
You know when you want to watch a goal and it says it's not available in your location? It is now. So use my link in the description box below. It's NordVPN forward slash Rory. And if you use that, you will get four extra months completely for free. That's nordvpn.com forward slash Rory. The link is in the description box below. I really do think that his performances have been sensational. I think he's been virtually, you know, there was some mishaps, maybe the Chelsea game people yeah. will flag, but I think he's been virtually flawless. Okay. Think about the difference, as much as I think Rico Lewis is fantastic and just, he's my nine, so there's not much. Okay, in. I like right. that. Right, Rico Lewis, I think he's brilliant. Yeah. Rico Lewis is slotting into a team that is a well-oiled machine with the best players in the world around him. Arguably the best, the best manager, manager in the world. might have seen. And yeah. it is an efficient machine. Mm. Being a cog in an efficient machine is far easier than what Destiny Adogi was like dropped into. He was plummeted straight into a team that at the time mm. felt like they were not necessarily in disarray, but certainly no, lacking. No, 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 no. They lost Dis their no, main man. Disarray. Yeah. Disarray. I think the, the, you hit the nail on the head with the first yeah. word. Lost their main man, lost their manager... Bringing a new in managers that they didn't want. Remember, like it wasn't about him; it yeah. was Nagelsmann and whoever else. And, and a whole new defensive setback. New I mean, keeper. Set up. New keeper. New keeper. Van der Ven's come in new. The other new defender, whose name I keep forgetting, has come in as well. So the whole back line's new. Yeah. And he's slotted in. So yeah, I I, I agree with him. So being I, in there. I had I had a doge. I just think he's if he continues mm. on this, which is very. To be totally frank, is very unlikely. Do you know what I said recently? Well, you're gonna go. You're gonna go. No, do you, I, I, I you know what, what you're about to do. Uh, just, just to like take this off point a touch. You know the kids that came on for Liverpool. All those yeah, kids. Yeah. Uh, Kumas, Clark, all, yeah, but, Dan's all, one, yeah. all the kids. I said something which I thought was being very complimentary about them. I said those Liverpool kids. They have etched their name into Liverpool folklore. Liverpool fans will sing about that the day their kids beat Chelsea at of Wembley course, in a final, course. right? But I said. If one of them makes it at Liverpool, that would be huge. Because basically none of them will. Yeah. People went nuts at me. No, no, I no. I thought that was quite fair. No, it's, it's, it's very fair. As yeah. a Liverpool fan, I, I will say, look, h half of those kids, I think Connor Bradley and um, and Kwanzaa will probably be in and around yeah. the squad. Bradley's a bit different forward. already Bradley's though, different. isn't he? Yeah. But the rest are only there because of injuries. It's not like the class of 92 who mm. were there because they were so good, they just put in. It wasn't because a gap because of injuries put them in. Those kids that came on, as good as I think they will be for other clubs, potentially. Look, hopefully they, they shine for Liverpool, but mm. they're there because of injuries. Yeah. So I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, should I go number nine or you? Uh, not for nine for me was, was oh, yeah. Rico, Rico Lewis. Rico Lewis, okay. So, yeah. Nine for me, Connor Bradley. Eight for me, Connor Bradley. Yeah, we saw yeah. They, a little, yeah. you know, we work with each other. Um, I think he's incredible. And I, I could have gone higher with Connor Bradley. The only reason I've gone nine is because he's only played, I think, seven or eight games for Liverpool. Um, in those seven or eight games, he's looked fantastic. I mean, you've seen it firsthand, mm. the game at Anfield against Chelsea. Uh, not The biggest compliment I can give Conor Bradley is that when Trent normally doesn't play, I'm like, oh my God, we're in trouble. Yeah. Tr when Conor Bradley fills in for Trent, I'm like, oh, we're good then. Do you know we're how, okay. Do you know how significant his contribution is? This Insane. is this is just, I think, the, the kindest thing that you could say about any footballer, let alone a kid. Liverpool, at one point, it felt like a title charge could have been beyond them. It certainly felt like... A, a, a war on multiple fronts could have been beyond yeah. them partly because of injuries partly because of a lack of squad mm. suddenly Conor Bradley has come in to be one of the best right backs in the league which has given Jurgen Klopp a new lease of life it's given him mm. a new squad because he's now got Trent Alexander-Arnold as a player that he wouldn't have anticipated having him as because mm. you wouldn't think that you could have a quality fullback and Trent Alexander-Arnold somewhere else on the pitch Agreed. if you're going to have the quality fullback it's Alexander-Arnold and therefore yeah. so it's kind of given it's given Klopp this, this, it's like a joker in the pack that he mm. can play and nobody necessarily knows how it's going to go. Yeah. And it's changed the, it's changed the way Liverpool... Honestly, he's been sensational. And let's not forget as well, I mean, four weeks ago, his dad passed away. So he had to deal with a lot, yeah. this young man. No, I know, know I mean? off the back of... Off the back yeah. of, like, he played a, a few games Liverpool, yeah. then his dad passed away. So he obviously missed the next two. Then he's come straight back in and he's gone straight back in in a League Cup final as well. And look, I, could, I can't praise him enough. He would be higher if he had played more games, but I think a lot of the players in this, I'm looking now, played a few more. So, mm. yeah, I've got him as nine. Yeah. You've I, got him as eight. I've got Conor Bradley at eight, yeah. Okay, so I'll go eight then. I've gone uh, young Kobe Mayno. Kobe Mayno, I've got seven. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I've gone, why have you got him there? So you can, I explain Conor, why have you got Kobe? Mate, I th Kobe Mayno has, when you think about, I think it's very important that we do this. We acknowledge the contribution, not only 
to the team, but how difficult it is to slot into the team. Like yeah. Manchester United at various points have been in disarray. Yeah. Manchester United's midfield in particular mm. has been lambasted. You know, I think it's looking like Casemiro has been a complete waste of money. You know, they've the got captain, one good The season. captain has been useless. The captain has been useless. Really Scott bad. McTominay is one of the most derided players in the league. Yeah, Mason like, Mount's injured. Mason Mount for perennially the injured. Mate, Amrabat. Amrabat has Literally, been... Basically, the whole midfield, basically. The whole midfield. And this kid's come along, and all of a sudden, mm. United fans are excited about him. And, and I, like, I tweeted the other day, I said, look, no one gets, no one's never the new Seydorf. Mm. Like, new Zidane, new Messi, new Ronaldo. I said, I watch him. And I said, look, before everyone shuts me down, I'm not saying he is Seydorf, but I said, he just reminds me of him. Mate, so comfortable so on the good. ball. Also, if you look at the, the output, mm. you know, like, he's won games for him. Yeah. He's a teenager winning games for Manchester United. Mental. In the most Manchester United way. Also, I think when you think about England's deficiencies, mm. if there is if there is a deficiency in England's squad, I think we have a brilliant squad. But if there is a problem, maybe it's a third midfielder. Yeah. Everybody knows Bellingham. Everybody knows Rice. Agreed. We could then have a long debate and never agree. Kobe Maino is... He wouldn't necessarily be my shout. I think it's a little bit too early. Yeah. But he'd certainly be my second. Mm. He'd certainly be my second. Mate, honestly, what's there to the end of the season, potentially for United if they go well in the FA Cup? 18, 19 games left. If he sort of solidifies his spot in that midfield starting berth for United, he's in with a very, very big shout, especially with the fall off of Calvin Phillips. Yeah, well, Calvin Phillips, it isn't. Jordan Jordan Henderson, Henderson, it isn't. It shouldn't be. Obviously, Mason Mount's gone. It isn't Mason Mount now. I I think it can only really be, you can make a case, I wouldn't, but you could make a case if you want for maybe James Will Prowse. Yeah, I, I, I would. I think he should go, but he wouldn't be my shout. I think it is Conor Gallagher, to be honest. Conor Gallagher would Probably be my should shout. Should be. Yeah, Conor Gallagher. And, and obviously, as a Liverpool fan, I've got to obviously mentioned Liverpool kids as well. Harvey and Curtis Jones. If Curtis we're going to say Kobe just, Maynard, yeah. Curtis Jones has been really good as well. All right, go on then. Um, so my number seven, because uh, well, yeah, yeah, you've done the Levi Colwell. Oh, pff, this is no. Mad. Don't say he's your number six. He's my Sorry. number six. Oh god. So we're almost identical, apart <laughs> yeah. from Destiny Adogi. I think so. Who you yeah. haven't mentioned. I yet. haven't mentioned him yet. Yeah, Levi Colwell is my six. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Levi Colwell's my number seven. I didn't think you'd have. Co- I didn't think anybody would, apart from me. Nah, I he's, thought he's quality. He's quality. Look, he I, hasn't I had he's a good been, season. Though. He hasn't out wide. But when you, yeah, exactly. He's been put out wide. But then you look the last few games where he's actually gone to his favour position, which is the centre back. I think we've started to see. For someone so young, I've started to see him control the game a bit. Like I always, I love when I see a young player barking orders and screaming directions at players to get here, get there. Levo Colwell is a quality player, mm. and I, even though Chelsea have been rubbish, there's been a few Chelsea players, maybe two or three, that have stood out. And if they weren't good, my God, I don't know where Chelsea would be. And he's he's one of those. So Do Levi you think Levo Colwell? This is interesting. Then, if you rate him as highly as this, yeah. Do you have him in your England side? No. Maguire ahead? No, not even, it's not even Maguire. I keep forgetting his name. I should, I'm sorry, brain freeze. Crystal Palace centre back. Gahey. Gahey. Every time I've seen Gahey for England, three or four games, lucky I've gone to Wembley to watch him. He's mm. ahead for me. And because he's playing a centre back, and as you mentioned, Levi Colwell has been pushed to the sides a bit. So mm. I'd have Gahey ahead of him. I think right. Gahey's 23, 24. That's yeah. why he wasn't in this. Yeah. Um, it right, won't so, be him though. It, it won't like it won't be gay here. No, it'll be, it'll I feel be like, and Stones. I know that for. A, it, do, you, do you know what? Ad? I don't want to. I think gay. I don't want to make third, you. Though. I don't want to make you agree with with me or even like challenge you on this. It's your opinion. Go on. But if I understand the England setup rightly, yeah. and this isn't about Southgate, this is England. Go on. It isn't going to ever be the Palace centre half. No, whether it should be or not is different. But it could be, even if it's Chelsea out of form, it could be the Chelsea centre half. So if it's not going to be Maguire, it's not going to. I just don't think it's going to be Gay here. You know, the reason I would say maybe that's not true is because even when Tomori was at Chelsea, it wasn't him. No, either. Do you know what I mean? No, but that was Maguire Chelsea. was a much better player. Maguire was, then. Better. Maguire was good then. Yeah, you're right. No, I know what you mean. You like, I think. I think. If I think Gay will get a move in the summer. United were the one heavily linked with him. I'd, I, I, I'd be very, United, very though, shocked if Gay he's at Crystal Palace. Yeah. In the summer, and then it changes for him. But you're right, Levi Colwell, based on. Under 21s, obviously winning that tournament. Mm. Uh, Chelsea, yeah. you're right, it could be in front of him. Yeah. Um, Five. No, I'm on six. You're on six, right. Yeah, my six is Harvey Elliott. Okay, my six, we've got a difference. Finally. No, finally, okay. So my six is Harvey Elliott. Right. Just because I think he's just incredible. And he's had to bide his time. He's had to try and find a position 
his favourite position's on the right side and that's mm. Salah. Good luck. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So now he's having to fight for a position in the midfield. But he literally will run around and do whatever for Klopp. And I think he's been... Um, I think he was, it wasn't great last season, but no, nor with Liverpool. But this season, I think he's... Every time he's come on or started, I think he's been fantastic for Liverpool. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I think he's been... I think he's been truly brilliant. My... My number five yeah, this was it. Rasmus Hoyland. Hey! Was, is he? He's my five. He's your five. Hoyland's okay. my number five. Yeah. Right. So, and well, actually then just to, we're singing off the same hymn sheet again. My four was Harvey Elliott. Okay. You, 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 we're singing off the same hymn sheet. But yeah. so, so I had, I had Hoyland five, Harvey Elliott four. Okay. I think Hoyland has surprised me lately. Yeah. If Which we did, it, mate, if we did you, this thing four months ago, it doesn't make the 10. Well, you, I think you have to do that as well, don't you? You have to demonstrate an element of patience with kids. Yeah. And he was he was thrown Especially into the kids worst circumstances. Coming ever. from another country. From another country, from another country to lead the line for Manchester United, a yeah. Manchester United team in like total and utter yeah. disarray. Agreed. And then he's leading the line in a in a team where he doesn't know the starting lineup really. Mm. The big players in the team have been letting the side down, you know, Marcus Rashford on one side. Um Anthony sometimes Anthony on the other. Anthony on the other side. Mm. Like, yeah, you don't even know. Bruno Fernandes are big players. To lead that line. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. And I think we've seen the last few months, three, four months, where he's starting to score goals and different types of goals as well. Left foot, right foot. He's bullish. Mm. Rooney-esque kind of man strength. It looks like a man already, doesn't he? He's got that yeah. man about him where he can bully defenders. Yeah. Um, Hoyland, my number five. Who was your number four? My number four was Harvey Elliott. Okay. I'd, I'd echo everything that you said about him. Okay. My number four is uh, Everton centre-back, Jaron Branthwaite. Jared Branthwaite, sorry. Right. Okay. He's not in my... Yeah. He's, he's, he's there. I think he's sensational. And you know, I think the only Everton are trash right now. Mm. I think everyone can agree with it. They've only conceded thirty-four goals this season, which for a team where they are is a bit crazy. Bear in mind that's the same as Villa. Yeah, that's that's how tight they are at the back. Yeah, and they're tight at the back because of this young man. He is if Everton, he's gone. Yeah. Tell you now, someone's come in for him. I don't know if he's English, but if he is, when you're speaking yeah. about Colwell and. Um, I keep forgetting his name now. Carl Gahey. Gahey. I'm telling you now, he will be England centre back for ten years. I'm, I'm convinced of it. Do you? Is he English? You're you checking think, now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yes. Yeah, mate, I'm yeah, telling you is, now, yeah. mate. He could make a late run for the for the World Cups for the yeah, Euro squad. From Carlisle. He could make a run for the Euro squad. I think he's that good. Tony Belly was talking to me about him, and obviously Tony Belly, Everton fan, was praising. I was like, oh, whatever. Mm. And then I watched him, and I thought, my God, the other day he scored a goal, controlled it with his right. Yeah, smacked it in with his left. I and think we've seen was. there's a good track record of going like being a good English centre half from John Stones's oh, yeah, John journey, Stones isn't it? Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Yeah. He's gone. He's hundred percent gone. That's why he's, you've obviously just forgot about him because I think he would have been in yeah. yours as well. You probably just forgot. Yeah, about him. I did yeah. forget about him. Yeah, that's all right. That's yeah, all right. I did. You know, he's a he's a good shout. Although yeah. I'm very happy with my list, so that means you must have left out one of the players that I'm about to mention. Well, I've got three more to mention. I've got three more to mention as well. Oh, that means I've left. Oh, who have I forgot? Damn. Maybe who have I forgot? So I've uh, my number three here. Yeah. I've gone for Garnacho. Yeah. What? Garnacho, my number three. Garnacho is my. I hate him. Mm. There's something about him I really can't stand. I, the arrogance. Uh, There's two. Uh, do you know? Do you know what I find quite interesting about Garnacho? Though I feel like it goes one of two ways. I feel like he wins a Ballon d'Or. Or becomes Makeda. Or it's a little bit all uninspiring. And Makeda when he... Federico, yeah. yeah Federico yeah, Makeda yeah. scored that fantastic goal and then vanished. Yeah. I, not, maybe not as bad as that. I think he's I think he's going to be better than that. But what I think he could be is, you know, just some players who we always thought were going to dazzle and maybe they ended up petering mm. out of touch. Because they, I've seen him do that. There was a kid at Liverpool called Sosa or Sousa that Liverpool yeah. were mental about. Everyone thought... Yeah. That just before Coutinho, everything. Like... Yeah. Sp- then it just faded. Yeah, we had a kid, Josh McKetron. Josh McKetron was meant to that. be like Look at that. So the, many of the them. man. He was meant to yeah. be the guy. And it just never really Can you do it for 10 seasons? Can yeah, you do can it for 10 seasons? Can you do it for 10 seasons? Yeah. For 10 like seasons? Even, even the players. Look, he went on to have a sparkling career. Cool. And and I, I, you and I would disagree about him, but I, I will always like him and always hold him in high regard. But Paul Pogba is kind of... When you think about how Paul Pogba was seen as a kid, he was mm. at Manchester United, he got taken yeah. away to his... Although it went really well, he won a World Cup. Mm. People will say that he under. Yeah, because we we just assumed that guaranteed he's going to be in the Ballon d'Or conversation every year. We, I think I think at that at one point it's almost he was going to win a Ballon. Fault. It's our fault. At one point, Paul Pogba was definitely going to win a Ballon d'Or. Yeah, yeah. At one point, it was good. it was impossible for him to not. Yeah, I remember every time because he was playing at a rubbish Man United team, and every time they did a combined eleven, 
Even though United you know, were rubbish, oh, Pogba's in 11. Yeah. Like, it was guaranteed, oh, yeah. Pogba, and then whatever around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I mean, I, I, mate, if he can have... I love Pogba. If he can have a tenth of Pogba's career, he's had a good career. Do you know Go yesterday, natural. you know your friends who you introduced me to, your friends from uh, the Middle East? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you follow them on Instagram? No, no, no. The mates that you... Don't say he was with Pogba. Oh, I said, I'm messaging I replied. Him right. I'm I, DMing him right I now. I replied. I was like, Mustafa, what's, this? what's going on? What are you doing? How, what like, how? On? Because... That, but do you know, I, I weirdly am like a fan of Paul Pogba. I did a video on this channel. Why? I don't know if you've, seen, have you seen the video random. I did. No. I did. Why are you a fan of Pogba? That's such a random, there is no Chelsea links. There's no English links. Like, I love, what, what is it? I love the way that he plays football. Okay. He's Gaza. Yeah. Give, me, give me a Pogba. Give me a Gaza over the like cold numbers of Kevin De Bruyne. I'll always prefer a Pogba. Mm. Always. Like the... the Think about the World Cup. I said this in the video, people got annoyed. Think about the World Cup, right? It, the Luzhniki Stadium and all that, right? What's your one memory of 2018? For me, it will always be Pogba dancing. The, you know, at the end. Yeah, oh, when they're all on the Alley, track. Blue, yeah, and they're all and they sing, Bob yeah. Pogba, and they're all yeah. going, yeah, yeah. Mbappe. Like, I, him him dancing, yeah. Mate, he uh, was Kim the Pembe. superstar. And Kim do you know how many Pembe. players they had, by the way, in that squad? Hey, I know. Superstars. And he was the, what, the man. Yeah, that's how good Paul Pogba was. He was literally considered. Don't, you forget all the, everything yeah. else. It was Pogba. But yeah, put, I'm, okay. So thanks for watching in my channel, by the way. I've, no, done, no, I've no. done an entire video on Paul Pogba. I'm, like the, the most effort I've ever put into a video. Sorry. Do you know what's really upsetting about it? Go on. The most effort I've ever put in. And, and I've, 10 I've, out like 10, 10 out of 10 on YouTube. Work. And I call it work. Right? It wasn't work. It was. It was. I'm very privileged that my work is reading about Paul Pogba yeah. and watching videos of Paul Pogba. But I spent time on it. Yeah. And money. Yeah. And, yeah. No, Bombed. No one watched it. That's, 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 <laughs> no. that's what happened. That's what happened. Um, but right, so we both got Gynatro three. Gynatro three. Who's your number two then? Cole Palmer. Oh, interesting. My, oh, I've missed someone. If you've got the age wrong, I've missed someone. My number two is Destiny Adogi. Oh, you've got him high. I didn't think you were having yeah, him. Now I've got him. Nah, mate. I've got him really high for, for a couple of reasons. Almost exactly what we just said. Mm. He's gone to a, a team in disarray. New manager. We, we no one knows how Ange Postecoglou is going to get on because. He's never done it in the Premier yeah. League before. A whole new back line, new country, and yeah. you've got to deliver. And I'm watching him. I remember watching him against Arsenal and he had Saka on him. And he got, I think he got booked early. And I was like... He's, yeah, he's, he's in trouble here. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. And for some reason, he just kept wrong. on going yeah, yeah. and going. I'm like, yeah. fair play. Didn't put a foot wrong. Didn't put a foot wrong. Yeah. Um, I think Destiny Adogi for me, is fantastic. You've gone Cole Palmer too. I've gone Cole Palmer too. I think he, he was nearly my number one. Partly because I love him, yeah. but also partly because I just think he's so good. Yeah. Think about what he's done. Think about just what he's done. In fact, I almost want to put him number one. You know, I just you didn't know, because people accuse me of bias. You know, I didn't know who he was like 18 months ago. I have to put my hands up. You know, like all these football yeah. hipsters will say, oh, I knew, I did. I had no idea. I remember seeing him on the bench, but I didn't know anything about him. I didn't know he was that good. I just thought, okay, yeah. you, you have to be good to be on City's bench. Yeah. Well, I listened but when to you Boo, got him, Boo I didn't Boo know told too much. me he wasn't no good. See, I, I listened to, I went, Boo, what's he like? We signed his, we signed his keys, a Cole Palmer Boo. What's he like? He's like, nah. Boo with the Bristolian. Yeah, and he's going <laughs> yeah. to me and he's, and, and he's going, we've done better. We got Kovacic, we've done better. Okay. Cole Palmer has just been... He's, like, he's, he's, he's sensational. He's and also, that's why he's, silk. he's my number one. you got Palmer one. I've got Cole Palmer as number one. So who's your two? Destiny Adogi. Oh, you've had a... Hang on, unless I've got the ages wrong. I'm, I, you must have. Um, no, don't check. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I'll check if the age... No, just say it. No, don't do that. Just say it. I know the age is wrong. Who, who is it? Who do you have? Michael Elise. Yeah. Mate, he would have definitely been my one. He must He's have had 22. a birthday. When's birthday, his December. birthday? December. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes. And he wins again. He's had a birthday. <laughs> He's had a birthday. He's had a birthday. He's had a birthday. He didn't tell me. You know, the funny thing is, yeah. Oh, that's a just before we filmed this. I said to Rory, mate, there are some incredible 22-year-olds. Saliba, Saka, Elise, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jao yeah. Pedro. Yeah, you've had a mare there, son. So Cole Palmer would have been your number one. Do you know who I'm going to give an honourable mention to that? Go on, I'm scared about. Do you know who I nearly put in this list? You, you know, know that I... in Cisco? You know Brighton? How old is he? I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know I know he's a kid. He scored you know that wicked was... goal against City last year. You know, it was very close for me. Very close. 20. 20, okay. He so can't he, be my number one. Into Cole Palmer's Cole Palmer's number one. He goes 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan Gravenberch was very close to getting into my Gravenberch, 10. Yeah. Gravenberch is very close, no. but he missed out because he's not played enough games and he's been injured. Julio right Enciso is like my honorary mention then. Okay, fair, fair. Um, this has been good. I, don't Mate, I think it. we would have had the same number one and two. These kids. I would have had at least These kids are brilliant, aren't they? Special. If I'm Southgate and I'm watching this video, Southgate, you've got to cap Elise. 
Yeah. He's only been capped by France and the 21s. And Mayno. Get them all caps now. Yeah, Mayno will the go The only Ghana. reason why it's a little bit strong, do it if you... At least say will Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both... Yeah. At least yeah, has got yeah. to be capped. Yeah. At least has got to be... He's, he's, mm. he's from South London. I'm about to swear in you. He's from South London. Mm. Cap him. I think his mum's French or something. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Addy, as always, thank you so much. Please do me a favour before you go, make sure that you subscribe to Addy Oladipo's YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. There is some fantastic content over there right now. Make sure that you go and check it out. I will see you all in a bit. <laughs>